your wife is living at the Flint River uh, Center, mm -hmm. and she's been there for three months? Since April. Since April. And she's had a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease for a few years before that, yes. we think. In this particular case, with Mrs. B, she is very impaired, and she's in at least the moderate stages of a dementia. It's been going on for about five or so years, probably a little longer. And she has a number of things that are positive on her side, a number of things that are negative. The positive are that uh, she has a good brain. This particular person who is 80 years old, married, in an assisted living facility, receiving good care, largely healthy, with uh, a few uh, medications on board, was very impaired. She's gone to college and she was a sharp woman, although she didn't know what the date was. But the issue is, you know, what do you do? Well, the, the good side of things, again, is her personality. She's not showing major psychiatric problems with wandering or agitation or suspiciousness. She's very mellow. And her husband says that he can ask her to do things and she'll largely comply. So have you noticed her a little bit more alert the last few days? Last week, for her birthday, her 80th, she was very alert. Her eyes were open and uh, she's more with what we were doing. Uh, right, is this since we, we made a small dose reduction? Yes. So what we're doing over six weeks, to remind you, is mm. slowly weaning her off the drug Risperdal. Yes. I haven't dealt with the Aricept yet. That would be the, the safest thing to mm -hmm. do, but to do it slowly and carefully. Sure. And see how she responds to that. Yeah. No, and what we're observing is two things. One is, does she become agitated or have any problems? And two, how is her sedation and the adverse effects yeah. doing? I don't know yet. Right. Um, other than the alertness of the one particular day, we had her out in the afternoon. Now, I got her in the morning today, and she's falling asleep on me. I can only surmise it's the medication. Conversation, I don't get any conversation from her anymore. The bad side is, is that we're into this disease for a good number of years, and so we only have so many cards we can play. What do you say when I ask you a question? I answer you. You do? Yes. Oh, you sure now? Yes. Oh, you're getting mad at me now. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it's about time. I'm glad you got mad at me. Okay. You haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> we want to have her day structured. We want to have her not agitated. We want to have her oriented toward reality, the extent to which she's, she's, she is friendly with that, what the date is, what's going on, any, any scheduled appointments she might have, as well as any any other events in her life that are important, sometimes grandkids coming to, 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 to her and such. And to have her husband be externally rewarding what she's doing and, and making sure that she's able to do things. That, I think, is, is not going to be very, a very difficult thing to do in her case because she's very accommodating to the interventions. She's actually pretty healthy other than her dementia. She has some hypertension and hyperlipidemia mm -hmm. that's responding to very minor medications. So. Her other general physical health has been very good, is that right? She's yeah. not had cancer, heart failure, kidney failure, any serious medical no, none, illnesses. None whatsoever. In 80 years. Yep. The memory loss is one thing. And when um, the eyelids became slits, that's when I became concerned. What else did you notice? So you noticed that she was more lethargic, more sleepy. Yes, yes. May I have your arm a minute? She has some cogwheel rigidity. If we move her, she's not real smooth. 